Okay, get it over with. You did that. You really did. You tried to hook me up? Frankie, look, she has a great sense of humor. She's a smart, beautiful woman. I, I think that she seems like a lovely young lady. Oh, and she ain't no hooker, huh? No, I mean, yes. Mm. I mean, well, maybe. I, look, I just want you happy. And I love you for that. Even though sometimes your methods can be questionable and, and tick me off, but you know something? I tell you something. I was raised by this beautiful woman. God, I got to show you a picture. I mean, the way she raised me. Anyway, she she told me to look past what people do to see right to who they are. Mom, you have to trust me to know who and what makes me happy. All right, you know what? Randy may be exceptional. I, I highly doubt it, but she may be. But there is Fletcher. I took care of Fletcher. He's not coming back. You don't know that. You have angered a very scary man, Frankie. And as long as he is a danger to you or this family, I don't want you hanging out with one of his women. <laughs> It was an accident August 1st involving Annie Lavery. I'd like to see the report, please. It's public information. No reason why not. Just give me a minute. Thank you. Zach, what are you doing here? Oh, sorry I'm late, ladies. Okay, I have a double frap, extra whipped cream, adobo macchiato, and churros. Uh, thanks, but we already had breakfast. Okay. Churros? They're your favorite. I'm on a diet. Hey, can you check the numbers again for the eye candy release? Sure. All right. Okay. I get it. Point taken. Again, I'm sorry I'm late. At least you're here. It's just everything has been so crazy lately. Yeah, for all of us, but we managed to make it into the office. How's Colby? She's fine. You said she was a mess. I'm sorry. She's having a hard time, but uh, JR is trying to help her through. Well, you said JR has changed. Looks like he really has. Well, between Adam facing charges and uh, Colby, JR is just trying to keep the family together. I'm glad. Really, I am. Even Zach said he's noticed a change in JR. So, let's hope the new JR is here to stay. I've been sober now for. Uh... 251 days. And uh, it's taken me a long time to get there. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to blame my father. Later, I blame my family and my wife and my business, and the full moon, <laughs> drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol. Seemed like the way to escape, but it never was the right way. I wrecked cars. I stole prescription pads. I almost hurt my pregnant sister. I, I watched a friend OD. I almost killed one of my closest friends. I accidentally shot my mother. I accidentally shot my mother. Who does that? Look, I lost my wife and my son. And I am fighting to get them back. JR has spent so much of his life fighting the world. You know, his father, me. He's, he's done with that. He just wants to make it work. Man's totally in love with you. Well, we've been there before. You know, I just, I want to take a page from his group. One day at a time. Family is what it's all about. And ours has been so fractured. I mean, Ryan losing his memory and, and then Annie, you know, sort of losing it. We just want to find a way to make our family work and get back to the way things were. You know, the whole extended family thing. How do you get back to the way things were if you think Annie's a nut job? She's really been trying. Since when do you think that? Well, she, she wants to spend some time together. 
Well, actually, working at Fusion would be a great place to start. If we could just get Greenlee here on the same day, I think that... What? Uh, I, I'm taking a couple of days off. <sighs> You've hardly been in. Well, Zach and, and, and Annie and Ryan and I were, are going to Vegas for an extended weekend. We're leaving today. That's great. That's great. I hope you have a wonderful time. I quit. No, you can't quit. You can't quit. We need you. We need you. Fusion needs you. I don't give a damn. If Babe goes, I'm out too. No, no, no. Okay, just wait, wait, wait. Don't go in there, please. Wait, I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't important. Okay? All right. Annie's going through a very rough time right now, and she needs her friends. You hate her. Well, maybe I overreacted. This ought to be good. Okay. Ryan and Annie, Zach, and I share a son. We have to find a way to make our family work and get things back on track. So Vegas is the answer? You can't just have Sunday brunch? I've been unfair to Annie. I've, I've judged her and I shut her out. She screwed over Zach. She attacked Greenlee. Well, she's been stressed. Don't use the hormone excuse, Kendall. Both you and I have been pregnant and we didn't go bonkers. Much. Annie is Spike's stepmom. I have to have some kind of a relationship with her. So you want to bond over the slots? Sounds like a big load of craps tables to me. Oh, come on, you guys. I, I, I need, I'm doing this to help Annie heal. To help all of us. To help Fusion. Well, working here would be a great place to start. I'd feel healed, wouldn't you? Oh, well, I'd just like a day off. You know, not so long ago, you wanted to fire Annie. Now, now you're going on a trip with her? You're going to be partying while we stay here and work our butts off. Are you kidding me? Do you think that's going to be fun? Cooped up with that wackadoodle? I don't think so. You, you look at her wrong and she's going to splatter and freak out. <laughs> Slamming Annie. Now that sounds like the Kendall we all know. What's going on, Kendall? I want the truth. Something is definitely not right with Annie. And this trip might be the only way to figure out what it is. How's the Novak Hidden Run case going? Not the way I would like. So, what brings you in? Curiosity. About Annie Lavery's accident. You were the first on the scene, right? Yeah, she called me. Open and shut. Unless, of course, there's something raising a flag. Well, like I said, it's curiosity. Here's the labor accident report. Thank you. Jesse. Zach. Can you get a copy of that accident report put on my desk, please? Why don't you focus on uh, getting Cass back up on her feet? I have to get her to come out of her room first. I've got a daughter who won't speak to me and a son who won't listen. But I eat my vegetables. Yeah. And you're right about this shirt. It is, uh, it's better than blue one over there. No, oh, you'll take my wardrobe advice, huh? But when it comes to life and how you're living... I it, would I... love it more if you would give me just a little bitty space. Sweetheart, Fletcher, Mom, this man we've is... we've been over this a million times. Yes, Fletcher is a tough guy, but underneath the smile and the charm... Come on, now so am I. Iraq, remember? I can take care of myself. That's just it. Iraq. Every day, every night, I prayed... I worried, I begged God to bring you home safe, and he did. And I thought it was over. And now here I am again. I'm worrying, I'm praying, I'm wondering if, if today is the day Mom, that... Fletcher is a street thug. That's it. I have been through worse. I have handled worse. Frankie, the man scares me. He is dangerous. Are you going to seek your U.S. attorney on me for not doing what you want? Is it a felony now? To refuse Erica Kane. If you've committed a crime. Uh, the only crime here is you abusing and using another poor sap. Erica doesn't use men. <coughs> oh, Tonic, she, she makes a career of it. Oh, yes. well, at least I don't throw my spouses into insane asylums. Is that what it takes for you to get your 11th engagement ring? Helping Woods' son? Back off, Mr. C. Go polish the silver. Don't tell Carmen what to do. I refuse to be part of your grand seduction scheme to land Woods. Do you know what your problem is? It's okay, Carmen. We all know his problem is mood swings. And they'll be gone as soon as he has his second scotch. Erica Kane is too much woman for you and you can't stand it. That does it. Pack your bags. You're fired. 
You can't fire her. I just did. But we agreed. 